I'm Matthias, this is real, and this is our Wheatley robot. So that was Wheatley. He's a robot inspired by the video game Portal 2, which we're playing right here. We built most of this project three years ago, but we're finally getting around to putting the finishing touches on, including outer panels and handles. So we're really excited to see how that works. And we'd like to share some of the process of building him. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. I'm not dead! I'M NOT DEAD! <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to talk about the mechanical side of the robot. And uh, starting at the top, Wheatley moves along a plywood management rail with two small motors. A lot of people have mentioned that it's really slow right now. I agree. Wheatley can look left and right and spin around by using another motor to pivot around a stationary gear. We basically did the same thing to make Wheatley look up and down. The eyeball can also move around in its socket by using a complicated mess of servo motors and linkages. The bottom and top eyelids also move using another set of servos. And when you put it all together, it looks something like this. So we 3D printed the entire frame here out of ABS on this 3D printer, and we welded it all together with acetone. Acetone is a chemical that literally dissolves both surfaces of plastic, creating a chemical weld when you hold them together. So first you sand it for a smoother surface, and then you brush on the acetone with ABS dissolved in it. After clamping for a few minutes, it creates a really strong chemical bond. Wheatley's eye is made out of 8th inch project PVC, this white plastic here, that can be heated with a hot air gun and bent into curves. Overall, this project was a good challenge with quite a few setbacks. One of our most recent problems was with our battery being too safe. Whenever Wheatley would draw too much power, the battery would shut down to prevent it from bursting into flames. Instead, I'm going to be using these 18650 lithium ion battery cells. Each give off about 4 volts. And just like expected, we got 12 volts. So the new battery's in, and it works great. So this mess of wires here is the main control board behind Wheatley. The brains behind the system are these three Arduino Pro Minis. This is what an Arduino Pro Mini is supposed to look like. It's got quite a lot of pins and a little space. And interestingly enough, this right here is a voltage regulator. And if you run too much power through it, it'll smoke and fall off. One of them is the master Arduino, it takes inputs from the remote receiver. Um, the top one here controls the motors through these two motor controllers. One motor controller runs this, the main pan and tilt motor, while the other runs this rotational motor. And the other motor controller runs the motors that allow Wheatley to move along the track. Um, and coming over here, the bottom Arduino controls the sounds, which are all stored on this Adafruit soundboard and played through these speakers, one on each side. For God's sake, your boxes with legs! It's, it's literally your only purpose, walking onto buttons. How can you not do the one thing you designed for? Thrown on right here is an Adafruit servo control board. Also communicates with the Arduinos over I squared C, and it is used to run these servos. To move the eye as well as the eyelid servos.
order to 3D print all these parts, we had to design them all on the computer. So all the stuff you see right now, we designed in 123D like three years ago. So since then we've moved to Fusion 360 and we've made everything else, which you'll see in the next video. But all this CAD is available in the description. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Keep an eye out for the next video when we put skins and handles on Wheatley and show off the final product. And we'd like to post some videos about some more of our projects soon, so keep an eye out for those as well. Thanks for watching. Here you go. Come back, come back. No, seriously, do come back, please. Come back, please. Oh, you came back. I didn't oh, I didn't plan for this. Uh, I we set a death trap. Um, oh, could you, could you just jump into that pit? Would you just jump into that pit for me? Could you just, would you just jump into that pit? There, that deadly pit. Oh, wow, good. I didn't think that was going to work.